Carry me a giggle instead, market not a quarty would sell. Oh Lord, what a night, not a bite, what a Saturday night. Everybody come feel up, feel up, not a quarty would sell. Welcome to Cooking with Mado. In today's visit to the Montego Bay market, I feature a herbal specialist. So I'm at the front of the market by a special vendor who sells a lot of unique local items. Apart from the pots and pans that you see that are all made in Jamaica, she sells special herbs and fruits. So I'm just entering the market here and I'm going to ask her, uh, Miss, if you want to introduce yourself. What, what's your name, Miss? Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sabrina Sims, otherwise called Bones, the herbalist in the market. Okay, so if you want, you could probably tell me what kind of herbs that you have here, uh, if you could look at them. So yeah, the no ones on the end here, what are they called? This one is called Sassiperla. So the Sassiperla, it is a root of a tree, it consists of iron, it's very healthy. You know, everybody needs iron, so anyone could take this. You could use it to make tea or you could use it to make a tonic. The Sassiperla. Okay, and in the bags, what, what is this? Variety. Here, this is sour sap leaf. Sour sap leaf. Sour sap leaf. Is this also for tea? Yes, we could use it to make tea also. Mm -hmm. It's good for the nerve, it helps you to cycle the nerves. Okay. Very useful. Alright, and then? Over here we have this yeah. one. It's called King of the Forest. It's a herb good for like a liver spot. You could use it externally and internally. Like you could use it to have a bath with. Okay. If the liver is giving you a problem. Or you could use it to make tea. Or you could use it both ways. To get rid of the spots very easily. Okay. Right here we have neem. You have neem leaves. These are neem. So what do Jamaicans do with neem? We, most of these herbs. Mm. On a whole, we use them to make tea. We intake them by teas and oils and so on. Okay. So we use this to make tea. Okay. Alright. This is chainy root. See, I have another basket. Yeah, I see. So this is chainy root. This is when here. it's fresher. Chainy root. Chainy root. The Jamaican on a whole like to use this to make root tonic okay. to clean and build their body. Help right. them to stimulate very well is with it other herbs. Is it an aphrodisiac or just a tonic in general? Okay. It's more like a tonic. Root tonic. Okay. And this here we have it's another root. It's called the um, the dandelion root. It's the root of a dandelion plant. Very useful. If you have any kidney problem, liver problems, or so on, you use this to make tea, or if you're diabetic, you could use that also. Okay, and you have turmeric as well? Yes, I have the turmeric ginger. So this is turmeric here, right? Yes. So wh where do you get your herbs and the turmeric from? Pardon me? Where do you get the turmeric from? Oh, it's on the countryside, but uh, West Maryland side. The smaller. Yes, I get it from a farmer up there because all of these things don't go one place. So I have them from all over the country. Yeah. All over Jamaica. Okay, good. And I, I'm just interested in finding out about the bottles that you have here. You also preserve a lot of things. So. All right. Over here, this is called vanilla. It's an artificial flavoring, but you know people use vanilla on yes. a wide scale. Likewise. Called almond and rose water. It's something like the vanilla, but it have a greater flavor than the vanilla. It's very useful so in your cakes, your bacon, your cereals, and so on, and your drink. Right. Something, two of them work the same, but this is more stronger than the vanilla. Okay. Over here, don't watch the label of the bottle because I don't have a Smirnoff company, but I'm using the Smirnoff company. Um, bottle to bottle my molasses. You know, right. molasses is made from sugar cane. Yes. So this is molasses in the bottle right here. And what's the cost of like molasses? Alright, the like cost this? of molasses like this will cost a hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. While the bigger vacuum, that's your make and a whole. Like a US. A US right. like a dollar. One US. Yes. Right. The bigger vacuum molasses. Yes. We 
know, 750 ml, $400 for like about three dollars something something. Mm -hmm. Do it. Mm -hmm. The brandy, the brandy bottle right there that is fancy stuff. Bitters. 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 It's from bitter bark. Bark. Bitter bark, aloe vera, and Cersei. If you notice, it looks like a wine. It's very cured. So you make this on your own? Yes, sir. So it's made out of, you said, aloe vera. Bitter bar Bitter and, bar. Cersei. and Cersei. It's for cleaning the blood. Oh. Sweetness from the blood. Thank you very much. You know, honey is made from the bees. Right. So this this is, is pure and natural. Look, nothing is added. Yes. It's only from the bees. Okay. Here we also have some black Jamaican castor oil. Right. Whatever portion you want. If you want a small bottle, size just like the molasses. Yes. A small bottle is going for two five, which yes. is like about less than twenty dollars. Yes, less than twenty. And a bigger bottle going for seven five. So it's what, about $20, what, 25 or What so. do most health conscious people who might be diabetics or older people, what do they tend to come in to buy? They tend to buy the herbs. Sometimes mm -hmm. they want the molasses to settle their nerves because sometimes they have sleeping problems and so on. And over here we have the root sonic. Root made sonic? from what? Like the sassy perla that I was introducing before. Yes. The sour soap leaf, yes. the cheney root, and other herbs like raw moon, medina, donkey weed, and so on. A lot more is okay. in this. Huh? It's very good. Okay. And then the the sea moss that you have here, the Irish sea moss that is here, is this also from Jamaica? Yes, sir. So this, this is local sea moss. Yes, sir. So wh where do, where do you get that? Like, is it from a certain parish with the sea, St. Mary's, or? Is it throughout Jamaica that people harvest the, that? Yes, sir. It's mostly from the Pacific Ocean local waters. Okay. Not literally like um, Jamaica and a whole. Right. Because you'll get some this time at this location and then you get... So they mostly get these from the Caribbean waters. Right. So this huh? thing most people uh, just... Yes, people craving for seamus in a wide scale. Okay. To make their smoothies, their drinks, their mast, whatever you name it. So what how much will be like for a bag like this? Uh, this is a pound, pound. and okay. a pound is going for three thousand oh. dollars now. Oh. So but it's it like about yeah. twenty. Yeah, twenty US. Yeah, twenty US. Right. Okay. And then you have this is a this that's is not nutmeg. Mixed. Mm -hmm. We have nutmeg. Is this also sea moss here? Yes, another type of sea moss. Another type of sea moss. It's not washed yet. Oh, so it's, it's like salt on it. Oh, it has so salt on it. Salt is a preservation. And if you look, that one is well dried. So yes. no salt is added to the, No salt is on that one because it's already washed. But being as said, this one is not washed. The salt is to preserve the mass so it doesn't get okay. bad. So you have a relationship with a lot of suppliers who bring these things yes, to you? Yes, I cannot source all of these things at once. I have to have them from all over the country coming in to have the business flowing because you know you have to have things all from all over to maintain the demand and the supply. And you also have like local uh, coconut, dry yes, coconut. Yes, here, this is one of my favorite things from the coconut. This is called a coconut gizada. Yes. One of my customers that normally buys coconut for me yes. comes to sell gizada today, so I always support her. Okay. It is made okay. from coconut, sugar, spice like the halman, the rose water, yes. and, and other items, not the yes. eggs. Okay. And flour also to be the outer part, outer the dough part. part. <laughs> Pastry. Right. Yes. Okay, and one other interesting thing about your store, apart from having herbs, you also sell local pots, pans, uh, and like if we look here, we can also see that you have a lot of spoons. Yes, like large wooden spoons. spoon made from this material is called the maho. These maho. are kind of being dry. See, a fresher one comes in, it's have two color, you know right. what a maho would oh. look like. 
but these are more so fresher. The, these large newer. spoons, are they used for large pots? Is it that people yes, cook with? Yes, most likely. Large yes. restaurants they would be right, using. Right, like those big spots and bigger pots and those oh. and restaurants and catering for mm -hmm. weddings, party and so on. That was a big grater too. And you have a huge grater here. <laughs> right. So people would probably grate coconut a lot of the time right. with these. And so you have these, these are handmade so that yes, supplies. local you Jamaican stuff. And you even have local, the local house broom. broom. The house right. broom. The rough one will tend to sweep on the outside of the yard while the softer one we tend to use inside of the house where the tiles are more smoother okay. and easily sweep the dirt away. And you also have pots that are all from made in Jamaica as well. Most yes, of these pots, the big, big ones are also. So if people like to buy these little baskets. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, man, they're nice. If you have yeah, definitely. Very, very, very nice. Pretty. Yeah, they're convenient. It's, it's okay. I can see them from here. Yeah. So they're very, yeah, durable as well. Yes, what sir. is the material made out of? This is made from bamboo and touch. And touch. This part is bamboo and this uh, touch. Okay. And the, here, this one is made from. Wicker. This yeah. part is another basket you would like if you have like any gift you want to move around okay. with. Here you use this. All right. It's more so, sturdy. Yeah? So why do you enjoy this job? Is, is it because it's a stable income or is it also like a passion that you have? Uh, children live what they learn. Mm -hmm. And it's a traditional thing. My great grandma used to be a seller in the market. Okay. Then my grandma is a seller, my mom is a seller, and I take the trade. I could have chosen something, with, mm -hmm. but it's like it's in my genes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's four generations of you all in the market yes, selling. Sir, because I could have chosen to work somewhere, yes. but going with your mommy and helping yes. her run in the business, then you come in and you want to be like them. Yes. Because if my father was a doctor or a teacher, maybe I'll take him that opportunity and go and try that. But you know, yes. when you're doing business, it's a good thing. You are independent. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes, so sir. once again, she's at the front of the market. So you all could, you know, always visit, not just Jamaicans, but tourists as well. Feel free to come to the market. Yes, Thank sir. you. Bowls, these, these are natural bowls. Calabash. Calabash. You could eat from this and we also have the spoons that we use. The spoons. Right. If you're a person that loves calabash, this is what the spoon really look like. And we have different sizes. Different sizes of calabash. And some of them are labeled. It's a beautiful large calabash. Right. And we also even have the cups also. The chalice, okay. It's a cup. Right. Okay. Over here we have the bread and busy. What is this? This is called busy, otherwise called colonna. This is the dram one, this is the greater one. So what is this used for? Like if you're poison, tomain poison, mm -hmm. or you eat something from the can or a fish or anything that you eat that is not so good for your health, then mm -hmm. you'll tend to have a cup of tea or okay. two cups of tea and that will help you to get rid of the toxin in the body. Okay, good. And then also, you were showing me earlier the difference between the fresh seaweed that is being salted here yes. and the dried ones. Yes. But yes. I'm also Very seeing fresh. that you have, this is relatively fresh neem. Yes, fresh neem. So you're putting this one to, to dry? Yes. Okay. So is it that people prefer them fresh rather than the dried ones? Or? They use them both, both. But the drier one is better because there is no chlorophyll in there. And you know chlorophyll is better for animal. We need our okay. chlorophyll from vegetables, right. not from the herbs, because that will damage our excretory system. So when we are intaking meals, I like to go with the dry one. Okay, and she also has here, is this cinnamon leaf? Or yeah, that's cinnamon leaf. Cinnamon leaf. It's good for the nerve also. And is this salt? Post salt, very rough salt. Used for preservative, anything you want to preserve, your the codfish, your salt mackerel, your corn pork, whatever you want to use salt in. That so it's this is useful. popular for salting meats? Yes. Anything but could it want. also be used for cooking? Yes, but it tends to be very big grain, so you have to be careful. Okay. Yes. Right. Over here we have corn for planting. If you are a farmer and interested in making your own corn meal or mm -hmm. corn dumpling, anything to go with corn, then you could use 
this dry corn. Okay. Asham. Do you know what Asham is called? No, no. What is it's, what is that? It's like you burn the corn and add the salt and ground it into a powder. Oh, yes, so you yes. have salt a little and sugar I, I know, and the corn. I know that. What is it called? Asham? Asham. Asham. Right. It's interesting. In Trinidad they make the same thing but they call it chili bibi. Okay, we call it Asham, asham. here. Okay. okay. And we have uh, some tamarind in this bag okay. that she's selling right. as well. Yeah. So this is fresh tamarind yes. and she also has chocolate. Yeah, we a chocolate tea. Grater the seeds right. and have it soft, and you could mold it like this to make your hot Jamaican so chocolate. People would you just grate a little bit of hot water and let it boil. Yes, you just it's grate it's this now because yes. it already go the extra mile and right. put it in the hot water and it dissolves. Yes, and you had your spice, vanilla, right. nutmeg. So and people so drink on. hot chocolate with vanilla and not milk. Yeah, man, you have to spice it up. Jamaican like yes. very spicy things, you know. And it does this. There are spicy nutmeg. people. Yes. Okay. They and like great flavor. Some of these are local beans as well here. Yes, the, the red beans peanuts. and the gongo beans and the peanuts. The peanuts. This is so. called Christmas peas, otherwise called Jerusalem peas. Jerusalem or rice peas. peas. All right. It mostly peas. comes in that Christmas time. Right. But we have this one from the last Christmas until now because you know once it is dry, it is preserved. Right. It lasts very long. And these are also local so nuts, peanuts. Local. Right, look, and here we have coffee beans. These are coffee beans. Coffee. So people buy this to make their own coffee. Is it that they would yes, roast the, it and the, ground it? The elder people okay, tend yes. to want to use this, but the younger set of people tend to use the one that is prepared already. Mm -hmm. That is in the jar from the Blue Mountain coffee. Right. So is this also like Blue Mountain? Or? Yes, yes. Sir, but it's just pure and natural, nothing added. It just so comes it has from not the been tree. roasted. No, no, sir. Okay. Well, how much does one pack of this like this size cost? $2,000. Oh. Mm -hmm. Which is reasonable. Yes, sir. Yeah, because in the supermarket it tells for more. Yeah. And then you could even customize it here. Here we have the sour sap. This is sour sap. The sour sap. It's oh. very nutritious. It's good for like lowering cancer cells, the nerves and so on. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Okay. Yes, and sir. she also has other local vegetables that you'd expect like cabbage, carrots, Sweet pepper. pepper. Zucchini. zucchini is also now becoming popular. Yeah. yeah, so she has zucchini and a lot of different tomatoes. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. I love passion Ginger. fruit. Yes, yes, Ginger. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir, Thanks a lot. So I'm here to buy some nutmeg, which will be used uh, for spices, but also not just drinks, also for jerk. And I'm buying some cinnamon bush as well as cinnamon leaves so um, this is the vendor and the gentleman here who I just bought them from so could you just tell me what exactly people use the cinnamon leaves for? That is for sugar. For sugar? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah. 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 So people have it as tea? Yeah, they just yeah. boil it in water? Yeah, it's spiced like that, like a porridge. Okay. Good tea, nice tea. Especially in porridge. Nice as well. tea. Okay, and the, the nutmeg, why do people buy nutmeg so much in Jamaica? Yes, that's a good spice and it's medicine. Okay. Good medicine. Alright, thank you.